What's going on? Um, just wanted to hop on here and do a quick little overview on how to do the Matthews top hats. Um, I'm a huge proponent in just setting up my Matthews at center shot, making sure the arrow's either level or just slightly knock high, and then tuning any sort of left and right issues with the top hats, and I'm gonna show you how to swap them out. Um, I'm just gonna show you on the top portion of the bow. It is the same exact thing on the bottom, and uh, it's super quick, super easy. If you have a bow press, if not, you're gonna have to go to a shop that has one and um, go from there. But other than that, I'm gonna show you the different top hats, how they label them, and then I'm gonna go through and show you how they're installed. Right here, I have two different sets of top hats. There is a third set, but unfortunately, I'm using them on both my bows. Um, but as you can see, on this set here, there's two hash marks that are on the center of the post and one here. This is a matching set. You wanna have one that has two hashes and then a one hash, but in the same area of the shaft. And as if you can see on this one, see if I could pivot this here. There's two on this one that are towards the top of the collar and then one. So this is a matching set. And then there's gonna be one more if you buy the top hat kit, and it's gonna to be towards the bottom here, the bottom of the shaft. And um, you can see, so show you on this. This is both the doubles. And you can see this one's got a larger collar on it which is gonna shim it one way or another. You can have this on the right or left side. It's gonna allow you to have a good amount of adjustment to shim those cams in either direction. Now, purchasing the top hat kit, if you have a bow press, is uh, highly suggested because you're gonna be able to tune your bow extremely well using this instead of moving your rest, which I don't recommend, and uh, Matthews probably doesn't recommend as well. Um, <clears throat> it's just a whole lot easier to get the bow tuned this way properly and not have to deal with the rest moving around. And with that, you're gonna end up having a little bit of inconsistencies as well. Um, this is just the proper way of doing it. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys how to install these and uh, get you guys going on that. Now, as you can see here, this is the top cam of my V3X. You wanna get it inside these little brackets here that Matthews puts on um, just to mount onto the bow press, locks in place, and it allows you to uh, properly press it and safely. Now, there's gonna be screws on either side of the limb here. And it is, if I'm not mistaken, a 564 Allen. So you slowly take this one out. Gotta be cautious because once you get this out, you have to take, there's this little washer you can see right there. I kind of just get in there and I'll pop it out with the Allen. You don't want to lose this, it really suck, especially when it falls on the ground. It's really thin and uh, pretty small. Easily lose that thing. All right, now I'm gonna put this in the little bit of pressure on it here so that I can take the axle out. All right. So now that that is under pressure and that one screw is out, I'm going to take a larger Allen and just push all the way through. You're going to end up having the axle come out. 
and put this in a safe spot, I tend to take the screw and just screw it back in to the axle so I don't lose that. Now, take the Allen out. You could use any sort of small object to push that through. Just make sure that you, it's not super small and goes into the axle and messes up the threads here. You don't want to mess up those threads. That'd be a nightmare. These things can cross thread pretty easily. Um, so you already have to worry about that. But if you get the threads messed up on that, it's no bueno. So you're going to take out the cam. And then now you have access to the top hats. You can see them right here. These black, they look like just spacers, which they are. <clears throat> but now it's going to allow you to take these out. They have to come from the outside in. You push them into the inside of the riser. With this, I use the same Allen or any sort of small object. You just get in there, slowly push it out. And you can see this one is actually the shim that, or the top hat that I was talking about earlier. See how it's towards the bottom? So this one's got the smaller side on the outside of the bow for me. And then if I go to this side, Trying to do this so I'm not blocking your view here. Pop that out. This is the double, and this is going to be the larger one. So I actually have it pushed just a touch this way outside, and that's how this bow likes to shoot. Um, I believe my VXR likes it one in. This one liked it one out. Um, again, you could also do this on the bottom. So if you're having issues with any sort of left and right tear, after you've set up the bow, you have the center shot and you're just going through either paper tuning or bear shaft tuning, what you're gonna do is you're gonna shoot and say you have a left tear or a left knock um like um what's the word i'm looking for like your bear shaft tuning and your point of impacts to the right of your knock you're going to want to bring the top hat you're going to shim the cam towards the knock that's what i found to be helpful for me um i went through and a whole bunch of trial and error but if you're having any sort of movement, you follow the knock with the top hats and uh, you go from there. So say I did swap this out and now I want to get back to shooting it. Just make sure everything's seated nicely and you just give it a little push and it'll slide right back in. The pressure will hold it in place. This is always kind of a fun thing here, fishing the axle back through. Sometimes it's a one and done, and sometimes it takes a little bit. But there you go, you got that one. Come through on the other side. Make sure it's lined up. Push it all the way in. Make sure you have that washer again. Now, if you can see, that washer's got a little shoulder on it. You want the smaller diameter in. It's going to close off this end of the axle hole here. It's kind of just like a, a cap, a dust shield, and just helps. It's a washer and also just like a dust shield to keep that area nice and clean. Snug it up. Don't do it too tight. Make sure all your cables and strings are in the appropriate position and then slowly bring it back down. And there you go.
that is how you look at your top hats and adjust them and super simple if you have a bow press if you do not it's kind of impossible so if you can get into a bow shop to get it done or do it yourself um, this is the way to do it